G'day guys, Riley here from RD Auto Electrics and welcome back to the channel. Today you are tuning in to a really special episode as here in front of us we have our brand new Starlink travel kits. Now we've been working on these for a number of months now and we finally have something that we're 100% happy with and that we're ready to release. So let's jump into it guys and have a look what these Starlink kits can do for you guys. Now for most of you guys, you probably already know what Starlink is and what it offers, but just a quick brief overview for those who don't, Starlink provides you with a satellite internet connection pretty much anytime, anywhere, uh, as long as you have a clear view of the sky. So even if you're in areas that don't have phone or cellular reception, you can still have a super fast and reliable internet connection via the Starlink system. It's a really great bit of kit and it really is a game changer when it comes to remote traveling. As previous to this, if you traveled to an area that didn't have mobile reception, you had no internet, no connection with the outside world, which for some people is great, but for those that want to be able to work while they're traveling on the road, it's a bit of a nightmare. Uh, and Starlink has solved that problem. It now provides you with lightning fast internet connection um, in very remote areas, no matter where you are, via satellite. So it really is a game changer when it comes to off-grid traveling and especially when it comes to working when you're in remote off-grid areas. Now, a couple of things to keep in mind. Obviously, the Starlink is great for traveling, but it wasn't specifically designed for off-grid touring in caravans or touring vehicles. So there are a couple of difficulties with the setup. The three main ones are, number one, storing the Starlink because once you take it out of the box that it comes with, it comes with no storage means whatsoever. There's no carry case, carry bag, or anything to protect the unit in travel. Now this is an issue because the Starling is a fairly expensive piece of equipment. Um, <laughs> and as you guys know, in a caravan, when you are towing it, all sorts of things can happen in there that you wouldn't even believe. Stuff flies around, drawers come out, you open the cupboard and cans of soup jump out of air, all sorts of crazy stuff. So it is important that you do have a sturdy, safe storage system for your Starlink to prevent it from being damaged when you are traveling. Second thing to consider is the power source for your Starlink. Now it comes with a 240 volt router. So the router needs 240 volt mains power to be able to run. Now obviously in your caravan that can be an issue because either your caravan doesn't have 240 power capabilities when you're off grid or if it is set up with a full off-grid power system like the system that we've fitted in this van behind us, it would mean that you would have to run the inverter in the caravan all day long to be able to power your Starlink, which isn't a great idea because your inverter does use quite a bit of power even if it's in standby. So even if you've got the inverter on and you've got nothing running off the inverter, it'll use anywhere between two to five amps per hour, which is quite substantial if you add up that over a 10 hour period that can be up to 50 amp hours of power consumption when the inverter is just sitting there doing nothing. That's not including the power that it takes to run the Starlink. That's just sitting there in standby. So that's the second issue. The third issue is connecting up your Starlink. Now, the connection between the satellite and the router is just one long 20 meter cable that's included with your Starlink purchase. It doesn't have any means to be able to plug in from the outside of your caravan. Uh, pretty much the only option from factory when you purchase your Starlink is to either run it through a window or a door opening or something like that um, so you can connect up that satellite to the router. Now this can be an issue because obviously if you have to have a door or a window open, number one, your van is not secure because it's open. If you do face some um, sort of rain or weather and you do have a window open or something like that, obviously that's not ideal either. So they are the three main issues uh, with the Starlink system when it comes to using it on the road. So we'll run through those again, storing the Starlink, powering the Starlink, and connecting the Starlink. Now this kit in front of me here, we've put together to solve all of those problems. So we're gonna run through them one by one now, starting with storing the Starlink. So first problem that we've solved is storing your Starlink. As we mentioned, when you purchase your Starlink, you get no storage means whatsoever. You take it out of the box and that's about it. So we have solved that by providing you with this 
beautiful Australian made canvas storage system thanks to Undercover Australia. Now, I know it's probably hard to see from your side of the camera, but the quality of these bags is incredible. They've got a clear top, so you can see exactly what's happening on the inside. Really nice, heavy duty zippers, um, and the canvas is really super good quality. We're really happy with how these have come up. Now, not only that, but then inside that canvas bag is a solid plastic crate. Then we have some individual components as well. So we have our first storage bag, which contains our cords and our router. So that's the first piece of the puzzle. Second piece of the puzzle are all our connection cords for our satellite dish. We then have our satellite stand, and last but not least, our actual satellite, which is in its own bag as well. So as you can see, it's all housed in one storage bag, but then each individual component has its own storage bag as well. It's a really great storage setup. We're really happy with how they've come up. Huge thanks to Undercover Australia for the quality of these canvas bags. Uh, it's honestly super impressive. And obviously the greatest part about this storage system is that you'll see on all the components, this lovely Australia made logo, which we absolutely love. So that's problem number one solved. Let's jump into powering your Starlink now. So on to problem number two, which is powering your Starlink. So we'll just grab the router out so we can show you how the unit's powered. This unit here is your Starlink router. And as you'll see, it's got a standard three pin 240 volt power cord. So this needs 240 volt mains power to run. Now the issue that you have with this is, firstly, if you don't have an inverter fitted in your caravan, you don't have any 240 volt power available when you're off grid, which means you have nothing for this to plug into. The second issue that you run into is that if you do have a full off grid power system fitted in your caravan, like what we fitted in this beautiful Evolve RV behind us, it would mean that you would have to have your inverter powered any time that you want to utilize your Starlink. So if you are working off grid, say working a standard eight to 10 hour day, you have to have that inverter running all day just to power your Starlink router. Now the issue with that is that your inverter does have a small power consumption when it's in standby. So even if you've got the inverter on and you've got nothing running off the inverter, it uses power from the battery system in your caravan. This can be anywhere between two to five amps per hour. So if you add that up over a 10 hour period, that's anywhere from 20 to 50 amp hours getting sucked out of your battery system for absolutely no reason whatsoever, apart from keeping that inverter in standby. That's not taking into account the actual power that is consumed to run the Starlink, which is a little bit as well. Now, these don't draw a whole lot of power, which is good because it means that you're able to run it off a small power source. So we're gonna show you now what we've been able to come up with to make this possible. So in our second storage bag here, included in our complete travel kit is this little bad boy. Now this is a Baintech 150 watt power inverter. So what this does is it converts 12 volt to 240. So this means that you can plug this end, which is a standard 12 volt plug, into any 12 volt plug that's in your caravan. You can then plug your Starlink straight into that. And that is now gonna power your Starlink from 12 volt, which means you do not need to have the inverter on in your caravan to be able to run this little fella. Now, the good thing is that this is only a 150 watt unit, which is roughly double what the Starlink uses. Uh, but it only uses a fraction of power when it's in standby compared to what, say, a 2,000 or 3,000 watt inverter would be if you had to have that running in the van the whole time to run your router. Now, as you guys know, Baintech have been around for a long, long time. Um, they make a bunch of awesome products. The quality of their products is always great, um, and these little inverters are no exception. They are a great piece of kit. We've tested these thoroughly in-house with our Starlink prior to releasing this kit, and we're super happy with how they perform. Another couple of benefits of these units is they are fan cooled, so they do have a small cooling fan that will run to prevent the inverter from overheating. And the other benefit is that they have three five amp USB 
fast charge ports. So wherever you have this unit located, it means that you can have it plugged into a 12 volt plug. You can use it to run your Starlink router. You can also have your phone or laptop plugged into it charging at the same time, which is super cool. As you can see, they're so compact, the whole unit fits in the palm of my hand. So that pretty much solves problem number two, which is powering your Starlink. We do have a couple of options with these inverters. Obviously they come with the 12 volt plug pre-fitted, so you can plug that into any 12 volt plug that's in your caravan, or we can actually provide them with a 12 volt wiring harness if you did want to hardwire this inverter in your van somewhere, whether that be to say your factory system like your BM Pro or projector power management system or direct to your battery system in your caravan. Uh, we can provide you with all the harness that is needed to do that, to be able to have this mounted somewhere in the caravan permanently. So that's problem number two solved, which is powering your Starlink. We're gonna jump into problem solve number three, which is connecting your Starlink now. So now that we've sorted the issue of powering up your Starlink via 12 volt, which now is all sorted, onto our third issue, which is connecting our satellite to our router. Now, why is this an issue? Well, when you purchase your Starlink, all you get in your Starlink kit is one 20 meter long Starlink cable. Now there's a couple of issues with this. First of all, you're not always gonna require 20 meters of cable, as it's quite a lot. The longer the cable is, the more power that your Starlink is gonna use. And a lot of the time, 10 meters or even less is sufficient to get the satellite into a clear view of the sky. So you're not always gonna require this much length of cable. Second issue with this cable is that if you have the Gen 1 or Gen 2 Starlink, like this one in front of us here, it has very odd looking plugs. These are not a universal plug. They're a plug that's specifically um, suited to Starlink. Now the issue with this is that there's no aftermarket accessories available for these plugs for shortening or extending the cables or no connections available to be able to plug this in from the outside of the van, um, which can create some inconvenience as pretty much the only way to connect the satellite up to the router with this cable is to pass it through a window or a door or some sort of opening in the van. So this cable is pretty much useless to us. So we've come up with a solution to solve all of these problems for you. Number one piece of the puzzle is the Starlink to RJ45 adapters. Now you'll see these both on the router side and also the sat dish side as well. So this converts those odd looking Starlink plugs into universal RJ45 cable plugs which means there's a lot more accessories available for them. So this means that you can keep the router in the van set up. Second piece of the puzzle, our RJ45 pass-through. So you can have this fitted to the outside of your van, wherever's suitable. You can have that on the outside. You'd have this small length RJ45 cable. So this is a 1.5 meter. You would have this wired from the RJ45 pass-through to the router all inside the van, you can have that connected all the time and you can leave it set up. So all that you would have on the outside of your van is this RJ45 external plug. Now this is IP rated, so it can get wet. There's no issues whatsoever. All it requires is for a circular hole to be cut wherever you want to fit it. The plug then recesses into the van, screws in from the outside uh, and it's good to go. So that's piece two of the puzzle. Then our third piece of the puzzle is our custom length satellite cable. Now we can get these at whatever length you like, um, anywhere from five to 30 meters. Most common size, 10 meters is normally more than suitable. Uh, now what this is gonna do is it's gonna screw in to that external connection that you have on your caravan with once again an IP weather rated plug. It's gonna then run out to your sat dish and it's gonna plug into your sat dish. They're all screw in waterproof fittings. So that can then be outside in the weather. If it's raining on it, it's not gonna affect it. It's all watertight and weatherproof. You'll see that they're stamped there with an IP68 weather rating. So you'd be confident that it's gonna do the trick. So that's piece three of the puzzle. So I'll run through those again. Number one is our Starlink to RJ45 adapters. Piece two of the puzzle is our external RJ45 pass-through plug. And piece three of the puzzle is our RJ45 
cabling. So we've got a 1.5 metre from our router to our external plug, which is gonna stay set up in the van. And then we have our 10 metre cable, which is gonna plug into the external outlet and run out to our satellite. So what this means is you can have the van totally shut up, locked and secure, and you can still have your sat dish all connected up to your Starlink and be using the system comfortably in your van anytime, anywhere, in any weather conditions. Well, there you go, guys. That is the full rundown on our brand new Starlink Complete Travel Kits. Now, as we mentioned earlier, we have worked long and hard on these prior to our release date today to ensure that these kits are put together using the best products that we could possibly get our hands on, number one. Number two, that they're gonna perform perfectly on delivery. And number three, they're easy to use and they have absolutely everything in the kit that you're gonna need. And we've finally been able to achieve that and we're so happy to be able to share this exciting news with you that we now have these kits available and ready for purchase. We'll start packing up this kit now. Now, it's also important to mention that all of this system here is compatible not only with caravans, but also with touring vehicles as well. You could simply power the Baintech inverter off a 12 volt power source in the vehicle. Uh, and then you can have the external RJ45 plug external on the vehicle somewhere and it would all work perfectly with a touring vehicle setup as well. It's also important to note that if you do have the brand new Gen 3 Starlink, that it actually already comes on RJ45 plugs. So you wouldn't need the Starlink to RJ45 adapters. But if you are interested in one of these kits, obviously, uh, please reach out to us. Let us know what Starlink model you have. And from there, we can let you know what components of this kit that you're gonna need to make it all compatible with your setup. So we will custom build this kit specifically for you, depending on whether you have a caravan or touring vehicle and whether you have a Gen 1, Gen 2, or the new Gen 3 Starlink. We are so excited to be able to release this kit to you guys. It's a ripper. We've been working on it for a long time. Thanks again for tuning into this episode, for supporting the channel. If you do have any questions regarding our new Starlink kits, please reach out. We're always happy to help and answer any questions you have. You can either contact us via the link of this video or you can drop a comment on this episode and we'll get on to answering that as soon as we can. Thanks again, you Packer legends. We'll catch you on the next episode.